Driving across the Golden Gate Bridge is a pretty special experience, but let's be honest, most of the time, life looks nothing like the car adverts. Being behind the wheel is often just boring stop-start frustration. There has to be a better way. Of course, a truly autonomous car won't be just one technology. It's a whole range of different jobs that the car is going to have to take over from the driver before we can leave them to run themselves. For example, Audi is one of a number of manufacturers that's looking at getting cars already to park themselves. If you look over there, there's a, a tight space. I take out my smartphone and the car should start parking itself. So there we go, the car is parked and everyone's paintwork is intact and I'm not stressed about it. All of the big manufacturers are in this race. The prize is potentially huge. This is BMW's latest effort. Polling suggests drivers want the technology as well. Firstly, it's going to be a lot safer. Computers don't doze off, lose concentration, start fiddling with their phones or shouting at their kids. We can't accept anymore in our society that every day the equivalent of an airplane crashing down of people die in traffic fatalities. These technologies can help us do this, plus they can help us to utilize the road infrastructure better that we have today, because cars can drive closer together. Ford is developing a system where cars can communicate with each other using Wi-Fi to prevent collision. The range up to about 250 meters. So we can, look, hands free, look at this, yeah. look mum. Look mum, no hands. <laughs> and hopefully no look mano teeth. <laughs> but this is still all a way off. On the Nevada freeway, Audi show me their piloted driving system. In slow moving traffic, the car will take control of everything, but the driver still has to be ready to step in if conditions change. Bjorn Geisler is the project leader. He says, though, we need to be realistic about how safe these technologies can make driving. We have to ask ourselves, are we okay with a piece of technology that's safer than the current status quo? But it's not 100% safe. So how long until everyone can do this? 5, 10, 20 years? The hurdles are both technological and legal. For me though, well, it can't come soon enough.